Welcome back to my beautiful, perfect house here in rural France that doesn't need any work whatsoever. I'm just kidding. Um, don't know if you can see behind me, but it's in a sorry state. Anyway, uh, there is a change of plans uh, since I last spoke to you, and I'll be talking about that a little bit later. But for now, we need to get on with work. And uh, last week, we removed a wall here on the first floor, and it really opens up the place, I must say. But what we're gonna do in today's video is remove the rest of the wall. In fact, I was gonna keep it for a little while, but I thought to myself, you know what? It needs to come down, it's annoying me. It's coming down today. Right, I'm just at the base of the wall in the staircase. So this is the bottom part of the wall that, that um, obviously needs to come down. It's quite strong. I will admit I was struggling a little bit from the staircase, so I'm going to tackle it from the room itself. There we go, much easier. There we go. Okay getting pretty dangerous now with all that rubble right okay let's just take this off okay right so what I'm gonna do now is leave the base of the wall so it's like two or three rows of bricks because of all the rubble that's here um, it will be a hazard for anyone or me walking up and down the staircase if something um, something's more likely to fall down ie a brick onto my head if I take away the entirety of the wall but I didn't do too bad you can see here uh, what's left of the wall and uh, you can see why without that something would be likely to fall on my head so that's gonna stay until we remove all of the debris. We certainly made light work of that wall, did we not? Now, unfortunately, the tip is closed again today. It's open funny days. Um, so I can't remove this stuff just yet. But of course, when I come on a day that the tip is open, then I can get rid of it all, which is great. So I don't really have anywhere to put it at the moment. Uh, this place isn't exactly a mansion with lots of space. So there is another job before I talk to you about the change of plans and all that fun stuff, is to actually remove uh, the rest of the um, stuff that's on the wall that I couldn't reach because for once I remembered to bring my little ladder. Come on. 
Oh, I'm coming in with a little voiceover. That's right. Couldn't resist making a little voiceover for you today. Uh, notice I'm giving the wall a few love taps with the hammer as well as using the chisel. So it's a bit of brute force along with a little bit of precision. Thanks to the chisel is the precision and the hammer's the brute force. You, you get the idea, you get the idea. Anyway, I consider this to be therapeutic in all fairness. Uh, at the moment, we're at a stage in the renovation where, although I am on my own, I'm enjoying it very much. And uh, I'm not trying to think about cleaning up the mess too much, even though that's going to be uh, <laughs> coming up very, very soon. I'm actually not on the ladder at this point. There was too much rubble on the floor. I just decided to use my tippity toes and who knew? I'm actually quite tall so I could just about reach the top of the wall. I must admit though, it is always the last part that you struggle most with and uh, this corner was particularly resilient to my efforts, however with a little bit of persistence and persuasion we got there in the end. <sighs> Alright that wall is done diddly done and looking great, now let's go into the other room, the other side of this wall and finish off that wall. Let me show you. So this is uh, the room where we took out a few joists, Nick and I. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird when you look up, you can actually see where the, uh, <laughs> where the floor once was. Um, yeah, kind of very strange, especially when you look straight up and you can see the roof. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Uh, what we're going to do in here, the future en suite, is now do what we just did to the other wall and remove what's left at the tippity top. And a quick refresher, or for anyone who doesn't know, the reason why we're exposing the, um, you know, the bare bones of the wall, the stonework, is so that the walls can breathe. Because over the years, uh, I imagine the roof was leaking and this house has gotten a bit damp, especially some of the walls. So that's why we're doing that. And uh, also it allows us to assess uh, the walls themselves and to really see if there's any structural issues with them. Fingers crossed, we never, never find something like that. Because that would be bad. Right, let's get on with the work. You can get a glimpse of the roof there uh, at the top of the frame and uh, I don't think the camera does it justice because when I look up as I'm chiseling away at this wall it really is a bizarre feeling being able to see that roof uh, overhead. It, it's just not natural.
the home stretch at last. And again, this corner was trying to be a little bit resistant to my efforts, but of course, a little bit of elbow grease and we did get there in the end. Although looking back, I think I did miss a few bits, but that's to be expected from me, is it not? There it is. The wall is all sorted out and I couldn't be happier. It's all in the name of progress. What I wanna to talk to you about today is the change of plans. So come on, let me put this camera on a tripod. And let's have a little chat. <sighs> Look at that. Beautiful. Well, that's a good thumbnail. Shocked face or what? What are we doing? Are we doing a worried face? What am I doing with my hand? Huh. What? Where's my wall? Where's my wall? <laughs> anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, super, super good. Uh, progress today and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the majority of that wall is down and the other two walls we've uh, tidied them up and uh, now there is starting to be a colossal mess here on the first floor so what we've got to do is uh, eventually go and uh, take all this to the tip slash dump slash um, déchetterie if you're French and uh, that's what we're going to do in the near future now change of plans this week I was supposed to go somewhere Magical. Special shout out to where I was gonna go. The moons, that's right. Uh, I was supposed to go there, but we had a last minute change of plans due to the weather predominantly. It's been raining uh, kind of nonstop and uh, the forecast is not great. So we didn't wanna get washed out and uh, we're gonna postpone it to when the weather is really good and then we can progress and uh, yeah, plenty of things to do down at the moons and I can't wait to see them again and I can't wait to help out in any way I can. But making the most of my newfound um, schedule, I am gonna be making more than one video per week. I'm gonna try and up it, try my very best. We're gonna up it to two, maybe three. Are we gonna try? Uh, for the short-term future, I guess you could say. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to make any promises, but for now, we're up in our little schedule. Had a chat with the neighbour, absolutely wonderful. Um, couldn't ask for a better neighbour. And um, yeah, we have a nice rapport now, and I can, um, you know, go there and talk anytime, and the neighbour can feel free to tell me if ever there's a time where they'd rather I not work um, or make noise, I should say, because, um, yeah, just being neighborly, do you know what I mean? And I love it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's that. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna carry on, we're gonna tidy up, we're gonna do all these things, and that's the change of plans. So the change of plans is, I'm not actually going anywhere this month, but, <coughs> We're gonna crack on with the work, as Billy would say. Yeah, there you go. One last thing. You might be wondering, Ryan, why this sudden change of routine? Why more than one video? Well, it's all in the name of progress, as they say. And I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my patrons. That's a perfect little uh, segue to uh, um, shamelessly plugging my Patreon, is it not? Need the money to renovate this place. So there you go. Shameless plug. I know, I know. Terrible. How terrible of me. Time for me to pack up and head on home. I would sleep here, but I think it's a bit of a safety hazard to do that. So. Off to home I go, and I'll see you in the next video.